हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन आवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शेयरिंग माई केसेस विथ स्मॉल पीपल एंड वेर टोरिकल हैज टू बी इम्प्लांटेड एंड ट्रबल्स आई हैड एंड मेथड्स आई यूज फॉर दीज केसेस एंड आई यूज को एक्सिल इरीगेशन एस्परेशन फॉर ऑल माई केसेस सो सर्जन्स यूजिंग बाय मैनुअल मे हैव मोर ऑप्शन दैन दीज सो दिस इज द मेथड वन विच आई यूज पीपल इज मिड डायलेटेड आई वुड से बट द मोमेंट यू फॉर्म द एंटीर चेम्बर द पीपल इन लार्जेस क्वाइट अ बिट दिस a bit like LIDRS where on uh, entering with the irrigation the pupil enlarges ac deepens and then you can see those marks much more easily now you can see once i form the chamber i can see both the marks simultaneously and then i can nudge the iol to the final axis and nowadays i am using this calisto markerless system but of course you can do mar- uh, manual toric marking and can get uh, good results now a second method is to roll the eye right and left to see the marks so use of the parallax here so again the pupil is kind of mid dilated it's around 4 uh, mm so these marks on these iols are approximately 4.5 mm apart end to end so you can if you can see at least one mark uh, and then you can roll the eye from one side to another and under the pupil you can see those marks Uh, so use of the parallax by rolling the eye from side to side you can get a general idea where the uh, marks are you can see i am rolling the eye to the left side to see those marks and uh, then uh, align it with the axis marking again uh, to emphasize you can do the same with the manual marking as well so uh, rolling the eye right and left in those uh, these cases where the pupil is kind of mid dilated around 4 mm in most cases when the pupil is slightly uh, smaller at the end of the surgery this method works quite well and you can nudge the il to the final axis uh, by checking the axis uh, by rolling the eye right and left but in some cases the pupil is really really small at the end and even if you use say adrenaline or other dilating agents it doesn't yet dilate and in those cases it's really tough and in this case what i do is i retract the iris on one side check the marks where it is exactly and uh, then check on the other side by retracting the iris on other side i find this method really tedious takes long time and also the visco removal is not adequate in such cases and i find with this uh, technique the chances of rotation of the eye are high so i don't recommend this technique now now another method that i used to use uh, before was uh, making additional marks on the iol so here i have used the pupil expander ring but before i implant the iol what i am doing i gently touch the iol in the line of those existing marks at around 3.5 to 4 mm distance apart these are literally just tiny very tiny scratch on the surface of the il and it is visible even after you remove the pupil expansion ring and you want to remove the pupil expansion ring so that you can remove all the ovd from the anterior chamber behind from the bag as well without the ovd in the anterior chamber removal of these pupil expanders or iris hooks sometimes is difficult and you may land up with more trauma to the eye so you can see here the uh, pupil is still fairly large enough even after removal of the b hex but uh, once you look for the final alignment you can see you may not be able to see both the marks on the iol simultaneously but those added marks which i have done on the iol you can watch them very closely and it's visible only on microscope with high magnification so it will not be even visible in the post operative period unless you look carefully patient doesn't have any abrasions because of these very very tiny marks which are there and uh, 
the advantage is that post operatively also you can make sure that IL is well aligned now uh, this is the fifth method which I use so during surgery any time if you feel that uh, the pupil has gone down significantly and you have to put a torical now here I already removed the cataract but before torical implantation because the pupil was too small I am going to use pupil expander you can use iris hooks or any pupil expansion device so there is no no such rule that you have to use it only at the start of the surgery you can put it any time in between the surgery to make sure that the final result is not compromised so once B hex is in I am going to implant the IOL now using iris retractors or pupil expansion ring after the nucleus removal or after CCC make sure that the anti capsule is not engaged in the pupil expansion device or retractor now once the IL is in axis I will be removing, removing all the OVD from the anterior chamber and most importantly from the bag if you leave OVD in the bag this IL has a tendency to rotate in the post operative period which we don't want so remove the OVD completely and this is one thing which one of my colleague uh, told me that you can try that uh, removal of the pupil expansion ring under the irrigation but uh, frankly my experience is not good you can see that uh, chances of iris prolapse are very high uh, the idea is right that you don't put OVD again and that may lead to rotation of the IOL so what I have done I have modified this technique and uh, what I do in this case is I in the presence of the pupil expansion device or iris retractors I remove entirely the OVD from the bag and from the anterior chamber I make sure that the IL is well aligned according to the axis and then I use hyaluronate which is a covasi OVD just in the anterior chamber while I remove the B hex ring or any pupil expansion device or iris hooks so that makes the things much more less traumatic and very controlled so just look at this case this is a small pupil I have used a B hex ring uh, cataract and cortex has been removed the IL, is, IL goes into the bag there and you must have seen that when I am using B hex ring I make sure that in sub incisional area there is no flange of that B hex so this avoids haptic dragging the B hex into the bag and now I am going to remove this OVD completely before that I am just nudging the IL closer to the axis of alignment where I want to put it again I am using a Callisto markerless system but manual marking with Mendes ring final axis marking is completely fine very accurate and the other thing what I use is the iToric Patwadan Android app for freehand marking and then get the final axis so here of course I am using Callisto so once just watch how cleanly I remove the OVD from the bag and from the posterior surface of the IOL this ensures that the this hydrophobic IOL sticks well to the posterior capsule and now uh, what I have used is a 1 or 1.4 percent hyaluronate only in the anterior chamber and now I am going to remove this B hex ring from the chamber very controlled no chances of trauma to the iris or to the endothelium and removal of this covasi OVD is really quick so this avoids any further rotation of the IOL this is has really worked for me and got very good results with this technique so you can try it it will definitely improve your torical results of course you can do many other things like hydro implantation but with small pupil it's always tricky do try and do write comments how you do things differently and how it is better. Thank you so much.